கிளாஸ் நைன் சாப்டர் ஒன் நம்பர் சிஸ்டம் டெல் மீ ஒன் திங் வென் யூ வாண்ட் டு பி வெரி கிளியர் அண்ட் ப்ரிசைஸ் அபவுட் சம்திங் எனி திங் வாட் யூ வில் டூ ஈதர் நேம் இட் ஓர் நம்பர் இட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் அ சர்டன் டைப் ஆஃப் கேண்டி பார் you will know its name and ask for it at the shop similarly if you want certain number of those candies for you and six other friends you will ask for seven candies so numbers play a very important role in our daily life in this chapter we discuss about different types of numbers their properties and how they represent on a number line etc today we will discuss about four different types of numbers first one is natural numbers what are natural numbers we know counting numbers are called natural numbers why they are called counting numbers because we use these numbers for counting natural numbers represented by the letter capital n example 1 2 3 etc to infinity from this example we know that the smallest natural number is 1 and the largest natural number is infinity the second type of numbers are whole numbers whole numbers what are whole numbers we will consider an example suppose there are three pencils in a box i gave two pencils to my sister and one pencil to my brother now tell me how many pencils are there in the box you know zero now we include this zero to natural numbers we get another set of numbers they are called whole numbers and this whole numbers are represented by the letter w for example 0 1 2 3 etc are whole numbers from this example we know that 0 is the smallest whole number and infinity is the largest whole number from these two sets of numbers that is natural numbers and whole numbers we can say all natural numbers are whole numbers but all whole numbers are not natural number because zero is a whole number now we consider these numbers that is whole numbers and natural numbers on a number line this is 0 1 2 3 4 and we know on a number line right side of the zeros represented by natural numbers then what about left side represents negative of natural numbers negative of natural numbers they are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 now you see on this number line there are positive natural numbers and negative natural numbers in between there is zero also now 
consider all these three types numbers that is negative natural numbers zero and positive natural numbers form another set of numbers and they are called integers so integers are the collection of natural numbers zero and negative of natural numbers and integers are represented by the letter capital z now you see natural numbers zero and negative of natural numbers form third set of numbers they are called integers example minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 etc now all whole numbers are integers all whole numbers are integers but all integers are not whole numbers now fourth type of numbers they are called rational numbers they are called rational numbers what is a rational number we know that a rational number is a number which can be written in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 again rational number is a number which can be written in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 for example 2 upon 3 4 upon 5 minus 2 upon 5 etc are rational numbers now from all these four types of numbers we can conclude that all natural numbers are rational numbers all integers are rational numbers how integers are rational numbers for example 5 minus 3 0 are integers and this 5 can be written as 5 upon 1 minus 3 can be written as minus 3 upon 1 0 can be written as 0 upon 1 so we can say all natural numbers are rational numbers all whole numbers are rational numbers all integers are rational numbers now we will discuss about equivalent rational numbers what are equivalent rational numbers for example 2 upon 3 is a rational number when we multiply this rational number that is both the numerator and denominator by the same natural number 2 into 2 we get another rational number which is equivalent to the given rational number 2 upon 3 that is 4 upon 6 okay again we multiply the given rational number by another natural number 
or whole number we get another rational number that is also equivalent to 2 upon 3 4 upon 5 sorry 4 upon 4 that's equal to 8 upon 12 so we can write 2 upon 3 is equal to 4 upon 6 equal to 8 upon 12 so all these are equivalent fractions so to find an equivalent fraction of any given fraction we multiply the fraction that is both the numerator and denominator by the same natural number so this is the form of equivalent rational numbers